Hi there. This is a new introduction I'm recording for this. The following is a brief segment from the middle of the full hour-long video I made dissecting the first teaser trailer for House of the Dragon. That for about three minutes I talked about the costumes in it, because we didn't learn that much new about their faction costumes. And I decided to split it off into its own standalone video, because so it wouldn't get lost in the shuffle. On top of that, after I recorded the first one, I noticed something else about Allison's costumes in it, so I recorded a new ending for this that I'm going to splice in at the end. So right now, it's going to start with talking about the Valarian costumes in the teaser trailer. The issue is, I, I stressed out a lot about trying to analyze their costumes, and I realize it, it's a fool's errand, that these are unusual wedding costumes. Like, how much did Marjorie Tyrell's wedding gown for the Purple Wedding reflect what her typical look was like? Like, what, her classic gowns from Season 3, where the, their teal with the cutouts and the, the overall structure, that wedding outfits look unusual, so we shouldn't stress out too much about trying to gain meaning from them, that they're, they're unusual, they're different. Because I spent a couple of weeks back in August putting together this two-hour-long documentary on the history of medieval fashion, and how does House of the Dragon reflect that? Because they skew a little later than Game of Thrones did. It's like around the year 1500, where it's a mix of early Reformation, late Middle Ages. When Game of Thrones was a little before that, but it's, they want to show this as a golden age, where there's been 50 years of peace, there's prosperity, everyone's doing great. So I can see why they want to use stuff from a, a later period, slightly later. And you see bits of that, that in the young Rhaenyra shot, she's wearing a French hood. That's something Anne Boleyn would wear. But I can't really make anything from what Rhaenys and Lena are wearing in this. That They're not even that similar to each other. That uh, Rhaenys has a V-neck, Lena, it's straight across the top. The only linking feature is that they tend to have narrow sleeves, which we saw that before with Rhaenyra. Then I said, I think it's she has the same style the Valarians do, because they're her allies. They have narrow sleeves. That Tudor style from the Reformation, what Anne Boleyn wore, had these huge billowing sleeves that they, they don't have that. So that, that's the one thing I can point to, that they have tight sleeves. Other than that, it's obscured too much by the fact that they're special wedding costumes. It could be anything. Nice to see them wearing jewelry, like earrings and stuff, as I always point out, because Game of Thrones didn't have that. And that Rhaenys has her hair swept up like that. We saw a bit of that in spy photos, but you can see how Rhaenyra imitates Rhaenys because she respects her. But there was a question of, did the Valarians copy Rhaenyra's look because she's an influencer, or did she copy bits from them? Like how Daenerys copied bits of looks from the Dothraki, bits of Slaver's Bay, and, and turned into her own look. It's Rhaenyra is influenced by the Valarians because they're her allies. And I, I've talked about this when we got the first look at young Rhaenyra, that she starts out having long hair with tiny braids in the back, but by the time you see adult Rhaenyra, she has these coiled braids in the back of her head, which make her look a lot more like the way Rhaenys wears her hair, coiled in the back. That Through season one, you will see Rhaenyra gradually dressing more Valarian. And this evolution of that, I think it's a good story to touch. That's everything I recorded for the full video. This is me again from the beginning spliced in. That after I made the full hour long video, I noticed something else about Allison's costume. Just a tiny thing that this didn't merit a full sit down costumes video because we just had some incremental updates here and there. But Allison, when she's running with the dagger, is wearing the same gown that she wore in her promo photo, which I talked extensively about in the full to our documentary. And if you'll remember from that, and I, I'm splitting this off as a video for the costumes crowd, I know there's a subset of fandom that's into the costumes, and, and the cosplay recreationists, that back in the two-hour documentary, I made it a point to say, I don't know what's going on with sleeves, 
because we can't even see Allison's sleeves in this. It's a headshot to the shoulders. But my prediction back then was, to contrast the two of them, Rhaenyra and the Valarians will have narrow sleeves in the Northern Europe, Germany, Low Country style. It makes sense that Alicent probably has large billowing sleeves in the style of Tudor England, that so much of her other stuff mostly matches Anne Boleyn type stuff. She doesn't have a busk on her torso, her hat's a little different, but like the shoulder cut, the neckline is clearly Tudor. Well, when Alicent is running with the dagger, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's cut off, but you can see that she has really loose sleeves. She has large billowing sleeves in this, in Tudor style. So this isn't anything huge. Oh, it's this giant prediction. It's just we reasonably extrapolated from spy photos. We think the Valarians dress like Rhaenyra and that Alicent dresses in Tudor style. The fun part's going to be when we start seeing, like, Joanna Lannister or other high towers or other members of Rhaenyra's faction like Jane Arryn, if we start seeing these two rival fashion styles develop between the two political factions, just to distinguish them visually. But other than that, I can't glean much from this, because like I said, they're special wedding clothes. They're not, they're, they're typical outfits. Otherwise, I really defer to the knowledge of a professional costume channel on YouTube, Costume Cinematico, Costume Co. She knows this a lot more than I do. She just made a video talking about the costumes we saw in the spy photos for young Rhaenyra and young Lainor, really breaking them down. Uh, it blew my mind, because she's pointing out that the hem doesn't make sense in this. The seams make it bunch up too much. This isn't very good quality on this one thing. Did they do this on purpose? Other parts are okay, what's going on with Lenor's wig, but at least his costume's okay. She did a much better breakdown, and I know she's gearing up for one about the trailer. But it made sense for me to split off the three minutes I talked about the Bellarians and my full hour-long thing about their costumes, re-record this with a new intro as a standalone, and re-record that other thing I noticed that, yeah, Allison has large Tudor sleeves. But we didn't get much new in the way of costuming in this. That'll come in more promo photos, and I don't know we're getting a full trailer. It, it's hard to say. I think they released this trailer now because England filming just ended. But stick around for as soon as we get new content, or new spy photos, because they're filming in Spain starting this week.